And finally, it's a very special but a very sad day here at Newsround. When Lizo's here on the sofa, it's usually to tell us about an important news story. But today, he's in the news because after 10 fabulous years, he's leaving the programme. What can I say, Lizo? You'll be missed by everyone here. Oh, thank you. I cannot believe it's been 10 years, but I've had such a wonderful time on Newsround. I've been to some amazing places, met some amazing people, and I can look back on some fantastic memories from, you know, the last 10 years. Well, in a moment, we want to know your highlight of the last 10 years. But first, let's have a look back through the last decade, and we've managed to keep this secret from Lizo all day. <laughs> Ten years. That's longer than some of you have been alive. Lizo's gone from nervous new boy... Hello, and first our special contact lenses have helped a 12-year-old boy see colours for the first time in his life. ...to roving reporter, bringing you stories from disasters and war zones all over the world. He's met powerful people and moved around a bit. But he's not always taken the job too seriously. What you need? Is one of these? I don't think so. For the film's world premiere. Lizzo's favourite assignments? Reporting from the red carpet. It's called The Golden Compass. And schmoozing with the stars. I heard about it on Newsround. And it seems he's made a few friends along the way. Lizzo is uh, officially my stalker. He turns up at everything to do with Harry Potter from the word go. Hundreds and thousands of kids who tune in every day will be very, very disappointed to see you leave. I'm going to miss him hugely. Lizo is inextricably linked with Harry Potter for me. Look forward to being interviewed by you again in the future. I'd come up with lots more stupid things to say to you as I normally do when you interview me. I just babble. Lizo, I can't believe that you're leaving before I get back from my little break. I'm really, really going to miss you. Yes, it's gone so quickly, but it's been nearly six years that the three of us have been working on New Shands. It's been fantastic, though, and you've been great. In fact, so good that I think you probably deserve a bit of a round of applause. Some really memorable stuff there, but what's your best memory? Oh, it's so hard to pick out a highlight. I've, as I said, I've done so many amazing things. I mean, obviously things like Harry Potter and of Doctor course. Who I've loved over the years. But also the big serious stories, like when I went to Iraq last year, reporting on how children's lives are being affected by the fighting out there. So a huge range of things. And what are you up to next? Will we still see you on our tellies? Yeah, you will still see me on, uh, on television because I'm going to be working for the main BBC News reporting on entertainment stories. So I do get to lots of my favourite things still over, over the next few years. And that's going to be really exciting, doing stuff for... Uh, an audience of all ages, not just for children. But you know, as I say, I'm going to look back on Newsround having had such an amazing time. But it's your last show, so why don't you say goodbye? Oh, thank you very much. Well, thanks very much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend and keep watching Newsround. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.